Rita Liu, and welcome to For the Love of Dance. Today, we're exploring the world of ballet in my favorite New York City neighborhood, Harlem. This is where Billie Holiday began her singing career and where Langston Hughes wrote his poetry. In 1969, Arthur Mitchell founded the Dance Theater of Harlem, and today we're going to spend the afternoon with one of their dancers, Devon Doan. Come with us. Devon, thank you so much for being here with us. You're so welcome. So we are here to learn about your life as a dancer. And I started training when I was nine at the Salisbury Studio of Dance. Somehow found my way into this, this dance studio one day and I was auditioning and they gave me a full ride scholarship to, to train at the school. So I, I was taking ballet, tap and jazz, like three nights a week. So five to six days a week. I'm curious how many hours do you think you're actually dancing in the week? During the week? Well, we have 30 hours of rehearsal per week. Wow. And then do you take class on top of that? The class is not included in the 30 hours. So it's five or six hours a day of rehearsal, depending on how many weeks we're working. Like a normal person's work week mm -hmm. is when you're dancing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, everyone, yeah, this is our nine to five. This is our, you know, our full, a full time job. And how did you hone in? Like, was there a defining moment for you when it came to ballet versus the other styles? I think it was when, when I found out that I could have, like I could make a living as a dancer. First time I saw Desmond Richardson dance, it was San Francisco Ballet's Othello. Yeah. He was um, performing with them. And it was the first time I'd ever seen a, a dancer of color on stage doing ballet. Now I realize that I can do this, you know, because yeah. I'm seeing it firsthand on stage right now. So that was definitely uh, one of the defining moments. He's, he's always been a great inspiration of mine. And, yeah. you know, I... Tell me a little bit about being a male dancer in the ballet world. What is that like? It's, it's amazing to see so many strong men out there doing such wonderful work. And it's not just, you know, pure, pure athleticism is definitely a part of classical ballet. But there's also the artistic nature of what it is that we do and the athleticism and like how they meet. I take a great deal of pride in being a, a male ballet dancer. And you told me about kind of a moment that you felt like was a setback when you had to go and get a regular job. When I was 16, I uh, auditioned for the Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis School at ABT, and um, I got a full ride scholarship, but unfortunately, due to uh, lack of housing and you know financial difficulties, it, it wasn't a reality for me at that point that I was going to be able to go. It was kind of hard for me, because I really wanted it. Yeah. I really wanted it. Yeah. Like, here I am now in New York, and you know I'm working with a wonderful company, I'm, and I'm really blessed. I love Harlem. I'm, you know, living in uh, a place like Harlem that has so much African American history and such a rich legacy for, you know, African American growth and culture. It's really amazing, you know, especially since Dance Theater of Harlem has like, you know, a, a wonderful legacy of its own. 45 years of, you know, changing the world and changing the way that people see that we're in. So I think it's really amazing, and, and you know, I think it's wonderful and also uh, really unique that both of those institutions, both of those legacies are right here in Harlem. What do you want your legacy to be as a dancer? I just want to keep growing. I, you know, I just want to keep learning and gathering more information. I just want to keep learning and growing as much as I possibly can. You know, I don't ever want to stop. There are so many young dancers out there who are watching this right now and aspire to be where you are. What would you tell them? Oh, nothing is impossible like you can do whatever you want to do as long as you like really dedicate yourself to it stay focused stay driven stay passionate and you know everything will work out everything will oh yeah. thank you so much you're so welcome thank you what a day we got a glimpse into the world of a ballet dancer we learned about the struggle and sacrifice it takes to make a life in the arts but we also heard about the satisfaction and joy that it brings i'm sarita Liu, and until next time keep dancing